Representative Zepnik was arrested around 8.20 Thursday evening by Greenfield Police near 68th and Forest Home. Police say he failed a field sobriety test and refused a breath test. He was booked and received a first offense municipal citation. Zepnik has worked for years to toughen drunk driving laws, and he spoke about that with Upfront's Mike Boucher in 2013. On one hand, we have a, a, a public safety and enforcement issue when it comes to people actually getting behind the wheel uh, when they shouldn't be. Uh, but it shines a light on this culture of ours in Wisconsin that in, in a lot of ways is almost celebrated uh, of alcohol consumption. His arrest came not far from the spot where Zepnik's sister was killed by a drunk driver in 1990 as she rode her bike. Zepnik referred to that in a statement through his lawyer saying, My family has learned firsthand through tragedy the dangers and recklessness of drunk driving, which makes my own actions even more irresponsible. Greenfield's police chief also issued a statement saying a few of us still remember the tragic aftermath of Jamie Lynn Zepnik's tragic death. Representative Zepnik's arrest reminds us of the pervasive problem of drunk driving in our state. And police say Zepnik was cooperative with officers and never identified himself as a member of the state legislature during his arrest. Thank you, Kent. Zepnik, a Democrat, represents part of Milwaukee's South Side, including the Jackson Park and Wilson Park neighborhoods. He was first elected to the Assembly in 2002. Zepnik is currently running for a seat on the Milwaukee Common Council against Alderman Bob Donovan.